Hello friends, welcome back to Stable Automation. Before we begin, please don't forget to hit like button if you find this video helpful to you and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. You can also contribute small amount as a thank gesture to our channel. S7200 Smart PLC can communicate over Modbus TCP server, Modbus TCP client, Modbus RS485 master or Modbus RS485 slave. In this video, we will configure ST20 PLC as Modbus TCP server. We are going to use this mbus underscore server block to configure the CPU as Modbus server. In this block, en is to enable the block execution, connect decides whether to accept the connection request from the client or not. If you keep it false, the Modbus server will not accept the connection request from the client. So set the bot the parameter to true. At IP port, set the port number of the server to which the client will attempt to connect and the default value for this is 502. Max IQ Number of input I and output Q available on the Modbus server. 0 to 256 can be set here. Set 0 to disable the input output read or write on the Modbus server. Digital input will be available on input status 10001 and digital output will be available on coil status starting from 1. At max AI set the number of input AI words to make available on the Modbus server. 0 to 56 can be set here. 0 means disable the AI value available on the MB server. AI value will be available on the input register starting from 30001. At max hold, decide the number of words of V memory available on the holding register starting from 40001. And hold start is the pointer to the V memory of the CPU. So starting from the hold start, value of the V memory will be available on your holding register. Done will be true when the execution of block is completed. And at error, it will give you the result of block execution. Zero means there is no error. Here I am creating a new program. Setting the IP address of my PLC. and saving the newly created program. Now Modbus server block can be found under the library section. Drag and drop this block to the work area. Set en and connection to the true by placing the always true bit. Set 502 at IP port and set 20 at max IQ. That means I can read 20 inputs and 20 output status on the Modbus server. Here in my setup, I don't have analog input card, so I'm setting max AI to 0. Now at max hold, Set the number of words that you would like to be read on the MB server. And at hold start, set the pointer to the V memory from where value should be available on Modbus server. In this example, we will get the value from VW0 to VW40 on the holding register 40001 to 40020. And configure the memory bit at the place of done bit and byte MB2 at the place of error. So we can identify if there is any error. Now after configuring these parameters, we need to allocate some memory required for the execution of this Modbus TCP block. 
right click on the program block and select the library memory option. Make sure this memory should not be overlapped with any addresses used in your program. As we are using VW0 to VW40 for our smart bus holding register values, I am configuring starting address from VB100. So let us cross check again. Okay, so it is starting from VB100. Now let us download the program to the CPU. It will stop the CPU for downloading and downloading is completed. Now let us check the values of digital input, digital output and vMemory values on Modbus tester. In coil status, we will get the digital output status. You can notice that if I am changing the value from mod scan, then the same output is changing on the CPU. Now let us check the digital input. I am giving 24 volt to digital input on the CPU. You can observe the changes on the CPU and the mod scan at the same time. Now let us check the holding registers. So I am changing the value from Modbus client and the same is changing on the CPU and vice versa it's also working. Note that as we have configured 20 holding register on Mbus server block and if you try to read more register then Modbus server will give you the exceptional error. 
you can notice that there is no valid response as we are trying to read more register that we have configured in our Ambus server block. But there will be a valid response if you are reading within the range. So friends, I hope now it is clear to you how to configure Modbus server on S7200 Smart PLC. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.